Hello, Salem. Welcome to our Monday morning message with me, your mayor, Chuck Bennett. I'm pleased to be able to bring you news and information about what's happening at the city of Salem. If you haven't already heard, a few weeks back, the city started testing traffic enforcement cameras at additional locations in the city. As the cameras are activated, motorists who fail to stop for a red light or drivers who exceed the speed limit at the locations while driving through high volume intersections may be caught on camera and issue tickets. The technology is intended to encourage drivers to slow down and make the road safer for everyone. Now on to the guest topic for today. We're going to chat with Neighborhood Enhancement Division Administrator Brady Rogers. His division has many different services, but today he's going to talk to us about the work of our city's code enforcement officers who help us address neighborhood livability issues. Well, Brady, good morning. Good it's morning, It's a real delight to have you here. Uh, I think one of the things that uh, folks may not realize is uh, various managers at the city have different things they do. You have seven programs you're in charge of. Why don't you give, them a qu give me a quick rundown of what they are. Seven programs are really broken into two parts, sort of a neighborhood group and an enforcement group. And uh, in the enforcement group, we're in charge of abandoned vehicles around the city. Um, we have an inspection program for apartment buildings and hotels that we run, right. a licensing program too and um, the general code enforcement that people all know about. And we're also responsible for the park ranger who works at various uh, parks around the city. Ah. Um, on the neighborhood side, we are of course in, uh, responsible for the neighborhood association program. Um, we also uh, fund and administer the uh, neighborhood partnership program. Um, and finally, uh, we're responsible for the uh, support and uh, the after-school programming that the city sponsors in the Salem-Kaiser School District for middle schools and high schools. Can you kind of describe what code enforcement is uh, and what the work of your code enforcement officers looks like on kind of a daily basis? What, is, what are they up to? There's a, a set of rules here in town. Uh, called the Salem Revised Code, which comes in a big, thick book about yeah. <laughs> that thick. There's a lot of rules. Well, anything that's a crime, the heroes in the police department take care of, um, which leaves all the other sort of rule breaking to somebody to sort out. To the heroes in code enforcement. That's the heroes in code enforcement. The <laughs> okay. heroes I get to work with. <laughs> that's closer. right. And um, I, it literally can be anything. A large part of it is uh, accumulation or garbage or junk or maybe somebody's decided to run a business out of their house because they saw they could do it or it, it, it could be a, a virtually anything in that big yeah. book that's a series of, of rules that get broken. But when it comes to us, we, uh, the report comes and uh, we'll send our officer out and they'll make contact and more than 90, 95% of the time people just don't know. And so our officers go out like ambassadors and just explain that how things work and why rules exist. And 95% of the time that takes care of the problem. Yeah, I, I, I will confess, I have received a letter from code enforcement uh, years ago, years ago, before I was involved in city council, but it was about a vacant lot I owned. I had not mowed. I'd been gone and wow. then it had been raining and it just, I didn't get the right date. I hit apparently a foot high and I got a letter. Is that a very common is that pretty common? Yes, that is common, especially sort of this time of year. Yeah. We're, we're kind of lucky it hasn't been raining because the combination of sun and water really makes the grass and weeds grow. Well, you but. sure prompted me to mow it. I tell you, <laughs> it, was, it was very clear you were going to come and mow it yourself and charge me for yeah. the mowing. So. Yeah, well, um, uh, we, we still do that on occasion, but we'll get somewhere between 3,500 and 4,000 complaints about grass and weeds oh. every year. Wow. Well, it's a fire hazard. I would guess that's one of the reasons. Um, what kind of safety issues do your enforcement officers kind of tackle? What are the most common ones and what are the ones that really involve public safety? But dangerous buildings happen all the time and, and we really need to secure them because they are is an incipient hazard to 
neighbors, the neighborhood, like people walking down the street. Like there's been a fire? That can happen. Okay. Um, a lot of times it's a fire. And even a fire when you've got good insurance will take six months to, for anything to start happening. Right. So um, it's keeping those buildings secured and safe is, is one of the biggest issues. So you all deal with derelict buildings, you do apartment houses, you do all of this. A lot of it is prompted because a citizen contacts me or mm -hmm. contacts you. How do they contact you? We'll get them off my back and onto yours. How's well, that? Well, there's, there's two great ways to contact us. One is the online portal on uh, the city's webpage okay. where you go to my neighborhood and submit a concern. And uh, that goes right into our system. And so officers in the field, it might even pop up on their screen the same day. So that's the most efficient way to do that's it. That's the greatest way to do okay. it, we, we encourage. Not everybody has access to a computer. You can still call our phone number and report it in person um, or leave a message for us. And uh, that'll get into the queue maybe that day or, or at least the next day. This is one of those programs, uh, I think, the public needs to understand is what makes this town so livable. It keeps the trash up from building up too badly, derelict cars being left, mm -hmm. uh, abandoned homes. Uh, I know you guys deal with them all, and I know it's uh, probably one of the most popular programs we have. Do you get a lot of thank yous for the work you do? Um, we do, and the thank right. yous we get are very heartfelt. Yeah. Um, so that, that makes it worthwhile. And um, it's, it's great to be able to tell people at neighborhood association meetings or in the public that you don't have to move to live in a better neighborhood. Right, great, thank you. Thank you, Brady. Salem is just its own great, big, clean neighborhood, right? I like it that way. I like it that way too. Thank you, Brady, very much. My pleasure.